Hello, and welcome to the Apex CCTV tutorial on installing and configuring the Vivitech ST7501 NVR software. You will first need to download or install it from the disk that came with any cameras that you purchased. I do recommend that you check for newer versions on download sites to make sure that you're installing the latest version. We have this available on our support site at apexcctv.com forward slash support. You go to Downloads, go to IP Cameras, go to Vivitech, and select ST7501 Setup and download it. This is in a zipped file and you will need to extract it, but once you have it extracted, you will have the ST7501 Setup EXE. You will double click it, agree to the terms and conditions, accept the default installation location. The next thing you will need to do is if you are installing this on your server that will be doing the recording, you need to make sure that the ST7501 server is checked. By default, it is checked at all times. On any remote systems that you're just going to be connecting and viewing the video, you need to make sure this box is unchecked. On the next frame, you will need to enter the user ID and password you want to use. By default, it is capital S, capital T, capital A, lowercase d, m, i, n, and when shipped from Apex CCTV, the password will be all lowercase st admin. And we'll click next. The next thing you will need to do is choose the SQL Server. This comes with two different brands of SQL Server, and I typically prefer to use the Microsoft SQL Server that is the default. You can give the station a name. You can alter the database name if you desire. I tend to leave my database username and password the same as the actual password and when shipped from Apex CCTV that is how it is shipped as well. Password will be all lowercase st admin. Unless you have a specific reason or a port issue, you do not want to alter these ports. And you can, at this time, change the default recording path. It is recommended that you record to a different drive than your operating system and the server is on. And in this case, you would choose an alternative drive besides your C drive. I don't have a C drive, uh, anything but a C drive on my system, so I'm going to accept the default in this case choose next and if you already have SQL Server installed you can choose this option and you can choose the type of authentication you have but the SQL Server bundle is already included in this so in this case I'm going to choose I do not have SQL Server please install it I'll click install and this usually takes anywhere between about two and a half to three minutes to complete the install Once the install is complete, you'll click close. That concludes part one of the Apex CCTV tutorial on the Vivitech ST7501 client. Part two will contain fig configuration and setup for both the live client and the playback client. Thank you for visiting apexccTV.com.